I can stay out of you guys' way. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, about 10 minutes I'll be done. I'll, like I said, I can, I can steer clear of it. How you guys doing today, sir? Get some fishing in before the storm hits this afternoon. A little tacking. Gotta figure out where the wind's at. I was gonna sail in the back back here, but since they're fishing, we're gonna get stay out of the fisherman's way. They have priority over our sea, but our sea guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a perfect wind. It's gusting pretty strong, so we're going to stay out of the strong wind. See, there you go. See, if the boat gets overpowered, it points into the wind if it's designed well. Ooh, we got cotton irons there. Shortening their sails a little bit. And let's see if we can get a tack in there. There we go. There we go. We got a tack in. Let's sails out just a little bit. Fall off the wind. Just trying to take it up upwind a little bit. Good boy, Tuco. You're being real good, buddy. There's the wind now. It's probably blowing. In the upper teens, probably. From the strong ones, strong. It's pretty strong out there. Oops, I took my eye off the boat. I was going to show you. you. See out there where it's pretty flat, where it flattens out the waves. Anytime you see the waves flatten out by the wind, you know it's moving pretty good. There we go. I'm trying to cheat it in too much. Just trying to feel for where the wind's at. Because you can't see, you know, I mean, you can see, but the only way you know is let the sails out till they start luffing like that, start flapping, and then just pull them in or make course adjustments. There it goes. Let's see. Let's see if we can turn it. That's what I thought. Yeah, we got it. We pulled it off. Because those trees. Those trees out there are causing different wind currents in here, so I'm still in the convoluted wind current, but it's not as strong as the main the main body of water. We'll just keep it in. I'm not going to make this a super long video. I'm just sailing across. And I sail going there. So we tack. Oh yeah, good tack, good tack, good tack. Gonna go out by the in between me and the barrels where I've been. Just let the sails out, see them left, now pull them in just a little bit. That way you know you're getting the maximum lift out of the wind. If you're on the boat, you can see telltales on the sail, and I could put telltales on the sails, but like right there, I couldn't see them because I'm in the fraction of the sun. Two more tacks. We'll tack here. Nope. Didn't have ourselves in tight enough. That means the wind's blowing a little more to the right. Nope, still did. Give some boat speed. Now. Uh oh, did my battery just go dead? No, my battery's not dead. We'll turn here. I can't tell the wind up there. Now I'm running wing and wing. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's one. That's what I was looking for. Wing a wing. Go wing a wing back here. When you're running, this is called wing and wing. And like the jib, the jib was starting to flutter, so I turned towards the jib. The jib is the small sail. So you see one sail shake, you just turn, just alter your course into that, and it'll fill up. to come out of this in about just a few more feet here. I gotta check and see where my fisher, fisher guys are. 
just pull out. They're not in the water. Oh, they're fishing over there in the cove. So we'll just pull out. We'll just pull out this way. That'll pull my. That'll pull my. Because I'm getting more. I think back here the wind's coming from more over this way. Over this way where the people are sitting over there. Let's see, it's turn. I don't want to get any closer to the dock. Let my I let my sails all the way out. I'm right in the winds right there. Not a problem. Just gonna relax my sails. Pull right rudder. Swings the bow around. And then you start sailing. That's all you do when you get stuck in the winds. Let your sail out. And the, the wind felt like it was coming from my left, so that's why I put the rudder to the right. When the rudder's to the right and the wind blows the boat back, it swings the bow around to the right. So then I could take off sailing again. I'm going to stop because I don't want to get up there where they're fishing. off a little waves, let my sails out. So we tack. Yeah, we still tack. Sometimes you get caught in strong winds, it's hard to tack. Because you got the force of the wind on the side of the boat. The winds are kinda kinda iffy right there. There we go, now we're in some wind. Looks like a little girl throwing rocks and sticks or in the water. I don't know how many lakes my son's filled up. When they were little throwing stuff in. They got a sandbar named after him on the James River when we used to go out there and fish for catfish. To attack. Let's go over here. Bringing her back, kind of watching the wind, letting my sails out a little bit. There we go. Getting some nice shape to the sails there. Look at the boat. You see how the boat picked up speed? It's about as good as you can get, man. You can't ask for much more. Look at it go, man. I got bringing everything in the water. Got my mast in the water. Look at the front biting it, man. This is biting it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's nice. Let's see if we can turn, pull in the sail while I make the turn, let the sail out, finish the turn. It's good, let my sails all the way out, bringing the boat around and bring it up here to the dock. I don't think I'll grab it this time, I'll just do a, a pass, just a proof of, proof of concept pass. I could grab it there, so we're going to pivot up. Let our sails out, pull them, pull them in, we're in the irons, let her go out, there she goes, and we're off. Pull it in a little bit, you can see Tuco in the camera there saying, where's it going? We should have grabbed it. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's go ahead and tack this way, let's bring her on back. And this is a long video, so we're going to close the video out. And I'm probably going to get out of here and let these gentlemen fish. There you have her. Your Dragon 4 65. Motion RC sells it. Dragonsailing.net has it. I think it was a great sale. There's your boat.